Hi everybody, welcome to Healthy Moscow Yoga on YouTube. I hope you are well. In this short practice today, we're going to explore twisting from the ground. So supine twists when we're lying on our back. So this is wrist and knee friendly and hopefully an opportunity for you to just explore the spiralling ideas and rotational qualities that we experience with twisting in these supported positions on the back of the body. So in your time, we're going to come and rest onto the back. Now for this practice, you might want to have access to the block and a blanket. So the blanket could be pleasant underneath your head and the block we'll use at a certain point when we're going through the lying twist. Okay, so coming to rest onto your back and just make sure that you've got room out to the side so you can take your arms out at shoulder level. And we'll just take a few moments to settle here, just inviting the back of your body to rest onto the other. Space in between the shoulder blades, back of the neck long. You might like to gently massage from the back of your shoulder area, the top of your shoulders, just walking the fingertips up towards the base of your skull and just allowing the back of your skull to rest on the ground so there's some length there in the neck. Arms away from the body, settling down into the earth. Notice how it feels to breathe in and then notice how it feels to breathe out. Nothing forced. Just gentle breath. The spiral of the inhale with the diaphragm expands out from your centre like a ripple and there is space in the body to be found. Reverse the spiral on the exhale, almost like a whirlpool, gently rippling back to the diaphragm as your diaphragm relaxes and the body softens, the abdomen follows, the ribcage draws in. Bring your hands beside you and as you breathe in, turn the palms to face up and slide your hands out, shoulder level. On the exhale, turn the palms to face down and bring your hands by your sides. On the breath in, turn the palms to face up, the arms move out. On the breath out, palms face down, arms move in. You just do that twice more at your own pace. Sense of opening through the breath in, sense of drawing in on yourself through the breath out, settling down through your pelvis, your feet are heavy. The next time that your hands come out at shoulder level, as you breathe out, start to draw the hands slowly towards one another so that they face each other. Palms towards one another, fingertips point up. And with an exhale, lower your hands to one side and your head to roll in the same direction. The top arm bends so that it rests onto the bottom arm. As you breathe in, take the hands so that they meet above you and on the exhale, rolling just across your shoulder area as one arm comes down, the other arm bends and take yourself through that pattern twice more on each side. A sense of spiralling just coming in around your shoulder blades, just a gentle ripple of movement there, allowing space between your shoulder blades allowing your neck to rotate, the pelvis is fixed, the feet heavy on the ground. So 
So your pelvis is fixed, but what I mean by that, your pelvis is neutral. You're not twisting anywhere into your pelvis or your legs. Okay, so allow your hands to come to centre and then bring the knees in over your tummy. And with an exhalation, stretch up through the heels towards the sky, draw the toes towards you. And on the inhale, just soften the knees and soften the feet. And on the exhale, pushing through the feet towards the sky. On the inhale, softening, finding that ease in your legs, just softening that stira. And the exhale, sturdiness, active through the legs, toes towards you, maybe spread your toes. And the inhale, finding the softness there. And we'll do that again a couple more times. Each time you breathe out and press through your feet, and down through the navel. And then each time you breathe in, there's a softening, an expansion, softening. Okay, and just make this the last round that you take. Invite the knees to come in over your tummy and cross one leg over the other. So it's almost like you're doing a little relaxed kind of cross leg position, hands on your knees and roll. This time you're coming into your waist, and your lower back, the top of your pelvis, your hips. And it's almost like you're massaging through the soft tissue here, allowing those spirals, those ripples to arrive in your spine. And we can work with the ground as our friend in practice, thinking about how we can work with the ground or massage ourselves against the ground to find more ease in the body. Back the body, rolling your head now in the opposite direction. So it's a very gentle spiral. Almost like the happy baby, the head revolving in the opposite direction. And when you've done that a few times, we're just going to bring those feet to the floor and bring the palms out at shoulder level, and flattening down through the back. And you can bring your feet and your knees together here. This helps to bring a little bit more support for your pelvis and your lower back, your lumbar spine. And as you exhale, rolling onto the feet, lowering the knees to one side, and your head can roll in the opposite direction. As you inhale, bring your knees to center and your feet onto the ground. On the exhale, to the opposite side. And we're rolling through the feet as we come through the legs, into the pelvis, along the spine, space between the shoulder blades and into your neck, your head involved. So we don't need to necessarily think about taking those knees down to the earth. This is more about feeling rather than trying to push ourselves into a supine twist. We want to have a gentle approach. And each time those knees come down, we might notice there's a little bit more for us to ease into. Sukha, ease. Finding that expansion of the spiral along the spine, the head is the final thing to come. So just try that again once more on each side. Think about the feet rolling onto the edge, the knees coming into the hips, the pelvis, and then the lower spine, the mid spine, the upper spine, the head. And then the head, the upper spine, the mid spine, the lower spine, the pelvis, the knees, the feet. So the spiral expanding all along from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. And take yourself to centre when you're ready. And we'll just take a moment to pause there. Feet on the ground. And this time we're going to stay for a few breaths. So we're going to shift the pelvis, lift the pelvis up and shift it to the left side of your mat so that you have room 
to take the knees towards the right side. And if you'd like to, you could bring those knees in over your tummy at this point. And then as you breathe out, taking those knees over towards the right side. My arms are relatively flat here, but I'm going to start to bend the elbows, especially on that left arm. And then my legs come down and my head is the final thing to roll. So I say my left arm because my left shoulder is a bit tense there. So I just want to release what's happening in that arm so that it doesn't bring unnecessary tension into my neck and shoulders. And then as I stay, I want to think about this left hip easing into space as I breathe in. Almost like you want to bring it over the right hip, but without any force, just allow the breath to be, or you could massage a little, but don't pull. Just kind of sense how that feels. On the exhale, then I want to soften down through the legs. I'm going to draw the navel in. That will help to bring support for my pelvis and lower back, a little bit of core support. And then you have the option to extend your top leg out towards your right hand. This is where a block is very useful. So on the next side, I'll show you more with the block, taking yourself into an extended supine twist. And the head in the opposite direction. Now each time you breathe in, come in through the foot, along the leg, into the hip, Spiral the breath along the spine, along the spine, and then along the arm, across the arms, the fingertips. And each time you breathe out, just come back through that spiral, draw the navel in, and just see if there is a little bit more there for you to spiral into, with just with the breath, the breath and the navel working together. And then when you are ready to come out of this, bring the knees together over your tummy. Shift your pelvis to centre and take a moment to pause here. If you'd like to, you could bring your head towards your knees. I'm just going to get the block ready for the opposite side, I'm placing it to my left. And I'm going to shift my pelvis to the right side of the mat and then on the exhalation, lowering legs to the left side. So there's room there for me to rotate. So I've moved the pelvis to the right. So as I take the legs to the left, I'm not forcing the pelvis further over towards the left. There's a bit of space there for the pelvis to settle without feeling as though it's being drawn over. And then the head, to the right and my right leg. Okay. Bring in a little bit of extension there, a little optional. You could take that out if you would prefer. You could just keep the knees bent. And focusing in on expansion of each breath in, sense of opening up into your shape, the spiral. And on the exhale, that's when we can encourage a little bit more of the turn and the rotation. A little bit like wringing out the cloth, kind of moving into the abdominal regions, the soft tissue, and then getting your spine some all important fluidity in the joints. When you feel ready, come back. Bring the knees in, hugging yourself here, draw the head in if you'd like to, a little bit of a rock around, feet to the ground, just take a few moments to allow your pelvis to circle or settle. There might be a posture that you'd like to take here, you might like to just lift a little into a gentle bridge. few times. You might also like to take your feet up towards the sky, kind of wriggle down through the hands and through the feet or flick out through the feet and the hands. So just see what's speaking to you. 
in terms of the best way to settle from that spiraling action of your spine and then bringing your feet to the floor when you feel ready. Just one by one, allowing each leg to lengthen out. Any support here that you need could be a bolster underneath your knees. Um, we'll just take a few moments here to pause, to tune in, notice how we feel softening down the back of the body, allowing your body to move back into a neutral position. So for me, I feel more neutral if my feet are on the floor and then my spine rests in a more neutral position there, same with the pelvis. The breath can return to its natural rhythm and you can absorb the effects of your internal spiraling breath, sensations in the body, in the mind. As always, be here for as long as you need to. If you have any notes or reflections that you'd like to write, get a pen, get a notebook, what words come to you at this stage. And then otherwise, I will see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed the practice. I look forward to tuning in with you again soon. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.